What's up, family? It's your man, Jeff Kilgore, back again. Bag of goodies. You know how we do it. Business, mind, all intertwined. Today, we're going to show you how to use affirmations the correct way and activate the law of attraction. All right? You ready? Let's go. Welcome back, family. It's your man, Jeff Kilgore again, bag of goodies. You already know how we do it. No filler, no fluff, just straight facts. We're going to get straight to the value, all right? Today, we're going to show you how to use affirmations the correct way and help you kickstart the law of attraction, all right? Let's do it. Now, we're going to start off. The very first thing is you are not a robot. What do I mean by that? You're, you're not a robot. A lot of times, affirmations are done um, obviously our affirmations are designed to be repetitive. You're drilling it into your subconscious mind. However, you're not a robot. Meaning if you're just saying, for example, uh, let's just use a, a common affirmation. I am wealthy. So if you say I am wealthy, I am wealthy, I am wealthy, I am wealthy. And you're just saying it just to basically get your affirmations done for today. So you say, well, I'm gonna say this 100 times, or I'm gonna say this 200 times, or I'm gonna say it a thousand times, and you're just going through it, I am wealthy, I am wealthy, I am wealthy. Although, over time, rep the repetition does work. Regardless, over time, your, sub your subconscious mind will get the hint. However, it can go so much quicker if you cut out the, the robotics. I am wealthy, I am wealthy. You have to really think about what you're saying and really try to get that feeling. Think about how is it gonna feel when you are wealthy? What are you gonna be doing? Where are you gonna be? What are the things that you're gonna do? Where are you gonna go? What is life gonna be like when you're wealthy? So when you get that in your head and you start to think about, okay, and you start to feel it. So you wanna, you wanna I am wealthy. And really think about that thing. Yeah, I'm wealthy. Because you're thinking about how it's gonna be when you are wealthy. So you're like, I'm wealthy, I am wealthy, I am wealthy, I'm wealthy. And you, that will make you start to feel it. And that will activate the law of attraction because you're gonna be feeling and your subconscious mind is gonna recognize that because it recognizes feelings, not just what you say, it recognizes feelings. You know, if you're gonna do just the robotic, I am wealthy, I am wealthy, it could take much, much longer to get to penetrate this, your subconscious mind. OK, so just remember, you're not a robot. You're a human being with feelings. Use those feelings. Man. We're going to get we're going to kickstart that law of attraction. We're going to get you together. All right. Now, the next thing, use present tense. Now, I know this may sound common to some of you who've been practicing this already. Um, <clears throat> but what you want to do, you want to use present tense. You don't want to say, uh, I will be wealthy. I'm going to be wealthy. I will be uh, the CEO of a certain company or I will have this car. Or I will have a house or I'm going to find my soulmate. No, use the present, the present tense. I am wealthy versus I will be wealthy, because if you if you keep stating I will be wealthy, then your subconscious mind doesn't really know the difference. And so it's, it's always going to be will be, which means it's in the future. When you're saying will be, you're affirming that you don't have it. But what you want to affirm is the feeling of already having it, which is what draws it to you, incidentally. So not I will be, I am not I'm gonna, I am right. So that's one way to kickstart and ignite and, and kind of Put a little something extra on your affirmations. If you've been saying your affirmations and, and struggling, not getting results, because I, we've all been through that and I've been through it as well. Why am I, I'm doing my affirmations, nothing's happening. Sometimes you can just be saying your affirmations just to get them out of the way to say, yeah, I did my affirmations today. But a lot of times we're not putting the feeling into them. We're not putting the, the extra thought. We're not putting everything into them that we should again. This is about you. You have to be selfish. We want to get ourselves together so we can help others. So you got to concentrate on yourself. You have to put that extra work in and really, you know, try to feel that thing. I am wealthy. I am wealthy. You know what? I am wealthy. I, you know, something. I am wealthy. After a while, it'll start to penetrate. If you, if you 
you know, even a lie, if it's repeated long enough, you know, start to feel true to you because you're hearing it over and over. It's the same way with your subconscious mind. Now, as silly as this one is going to sound, what you're going to need to do is look in the mirror while you're saying your affirmations. Now, I know that sounds crazy. I know it's like, oh my God, I feel silly doing all this stuff. But again, this is you. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want your dreams? How bad do you want whatever it is you're affirming with your affirmations? How bad do you want that to come to come to pass, to come true, okay? So how bad do you want it? You're gonna have to get in the mirror and say the affirmations to yourself. Now, why do I say that? Because when you're looking at yourself, there's a certain level of respect that you have for yourself when you look in yourself in the eye. Have you ever, think about this, if you've ever been um, with someone of the opposite sex, maybe on a date, maybe boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband, whatever. <clears throat> but when you look into their eyes and, and they look into your eyes and there's a connection, it's something that is hard to explain with words. You can't hardly put your finger on it, but man, we had a connection. So when you look at yourself in the mirror, I am wealthy, I am wealthy. You repeat that enough times, you'll start to feel that. It also associates you saying I am wealthy with your face. So you have no choice but to visualize yourself while you're saying I am wealthy. So I'm looking in the mirror, I'm like I am wealthy. I am wealthy, I am prosperous. I am prosperous, I am abundant. The whole time I'm looking at myself in the mirror. And so in my mind, the association with the word abundant, wealthy, prosperous, all associated with my face. And so you do that enough times, you're sending signals to your subconscious mind. I am wealthy. That guy I was looking at in the mirror is wealthy. That's me, baby. All right. Now, next thing we want to do, we want to pay attention to our environment as well as our time or time frames. And what I mean by environment is you want to pay attention to where you are when you're doing your affirmations. Because sometimes, just like I gave the example of the bathroom, sometimes you have to go in the bathroom and close the door. If that's what makes you more comfortable, if that's what makes you the most comfortable to be able to say that thing with feeling, to where you don't feel silly in front of everybody, then do that. If you have to go in your car and say the affirmations looking in your rear view mirror, do that. Whatever you have to do, pay attention to your environment. Get into a comfortable environment where you don't feel like you're gonna be embarrassed or you know maybe you wanna wait till you're at home by yourself or get up early in the morning before everybody wakes up. Whatever you have to do, Make sure your environment is right for you to say your affirmations with complete feeling and complete conviction, okay? Because that matters. As we said in, in the first step, you're not a robot. So it matters, the feeling matters. So you wanna get somewhere where you could go all out. I am wealthy, I am you know, prosperous, you wanna get, you wanna go all out with it. I mean, like get, get hype about it because that's gonna activate, that's gonna send the signals to your subconscious mind even faster, all right? And then what I mean by pay attention to your time frame. Now, this, I'm gonna make a complete separate video on this because this can get a little deep, but there are uh, four major brain waves, okay? And during, specific times, um, your brain behaves in different manners. Now, what do I mean? Uh, beta, alpha, theta, and delta, okay? Now, when you're in a beta state of mind, it's basically how we are now. We're talking, you're coherent, you're conscious, you know, thoughts can race through your mind, everything is clicking, you're, you know, you're in beta, you're conscious. Everything is, you know, your brain is, is just, you know, moving around, right? That's beta, that's usually our normal state. One step below that is alpha. Now alpha, you're still conscious, you're still coherent, everything. However, alpha is the most creative state. So when, when you're in an alpha state of mind, you could be reading a good book, you could be watching television, 
Um, when you're in an alpha state of mind, you're, you're concentrating, you're creating, you could be writing, but your focus is on that thing. And so a lot of the, the other bits of information that's usually bouncing in and out of your mind at one time, uh, they're kind of fading to the back because you're so focused, you're, so, you're being creative, you're so focused on what it is that you're focused on. You're still coherent. You know, somebody yells at you across the room, you'll still be able to, hey, what you want? I heard that. So you're not out of it or anything, but you're just coherent. You're reading a book. You ever been reading a good book and, and you say, you got, I got lost in that book. I mean, I didn't even realize what time it was. That's alpha. Now, the next one is theta. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to theta. Theta is the next is the next stage, and then there's delta. Delta is a deep sleep. You're unconscious. You're pretty much sleep, knocked out, cold. You're you're asleep. Um, but theta, let's bounce back up to theta. In between alpha and delta is theta. This is where the magic happens. If you can if you can uh, capture this time frame, then you're in business, especially with your affirmations, because. Theta is the state of mind where you're half halfway asleep. You know, when you're you're falling asleep, you're kind of asleep. And you can you can still hear what's going on, but you know it's been a long day and you're like drowsy. You're in and out of it. That's the theta state of mind. This also happens when you first wake up. When you first wake up and you know you're groggy, you know you hit the alarm clock, but you're still kind of asleep. That's theta. This is the prime optimal time to feed your subconscious mind with your affirmations. If you get nothing else out of this video, please get this, that theta state right before you go to bed and right when you wake up in the morning, that is the time to really give your subconscious mind a full dose of your affirmations. Now, you have to be relaxed because if you get too hype about it and you, you, know, you wanna say your affirmations, then you're no longer in theta. You don't woke up. You're in alpha again now. Stay relaxed, concentrate, and just go over it with feeling. Just, just imagine. You can visualize while you're saying your affirmations. I am wealthy. I am wealthy. You have sleep. I am wealthy. Even if you're saying them to yourself, you, even if you're not saying them out loud. I am wealthy. I am wealthy. This is penetrating directly to your subconscious mind. So you want to you want to make sure that when you're in those states and this happens twice a day. So you got two times every day to hit that subconscious mind at the prime optimal time. And this will kickstart the law of attraction. If you do this every day, your life is going to change. Again, I said every day consistency is another key. So I did say every day and I did say repetition. Now, how many times do I have to say it? I don't know. That depends on you and your beliefs, your limiting beliefs. You know, I don't know how long it's going to take you. You could say this a hundred times a day. It could take a thousand times a day. My point is be consistent and do it every day because at some point it's going to break wide open and the law of attraction is going to kick in the gear and your life is going to begin to change. All right. Did you get any value out of that? I hope you did. You know, like I say, if you got value out of it, squeeze that like button, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff and hit that notification bell so you can make sure you get every video that I upload. You won't miss any. All right. If you still rocking with me at this point. You already know I appreciate you. Let's go.